go outside in the rain. It may sound crazy, but I want to go outside. Oh, yeah, in the rain. I think I'm gonna cry. Boom, 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 boom. And I, 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 I don't want you to see me cry. No, baby. Mm -hmm. I wanna go outside. Hey, how many of y'all remember that? Ah. In the rain, it may sound crazy. Hey, good morning, good afternoon. That was a jam from the dramatics. They want to go outside. All right, listen, y'all. Good morning, good afternoon. Good evening to you. How you feeling? Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house with me. Your host, Khadija. Okay. I want to come on here and because there's been a lot of controversy about a couple of things I want to talk about. Okay. One of them is, and it's really interesting, um, Amber Geiger and the 10-year sentence that she received and she's the actual murderer, not the victim here. And the perception and how fast it changes. Um, I'm not here to uh, talk about whether forgiveness is a real phenomenon or what. But I, I just want to make a comment about what I saw in that courtroom that was totally all out of procedure. And since we are a country that like to stick to the procedures and the laws and every damn thing else, I don't understand how that charade was allowed to happen. I just got to be real about it. Um, Amber Geiger walked into a man's house and killed him. Okay? Now, whether you think she did it or not and all that kind of stuff is really, as far as I'm concerned, in my humble opinion, is really irrelevant. The consequence for what she did, first of all, Bill Cosby got 10 years, so she got the same amount of time that Bill Cosby did. Do five, you know, she'd probably been in jail, what, a year now? So I don't know if she was in the jail for a year. She'll probably be out within three to five years anyway, okay? I want y'all to look at this. Bill Cosby is in jail for some stuff they said he did to some grown-ass women. He ain't kill them. He ain't murder nobody. And he's got 10 years. Let me stay calm on this. And to add insult to injury, during the sentencing phase of this trial, I got to hear, which I knew before, a bunch of racist Facebook posts. Um, and I'm just want to let y'all know how strong perception is. This is what the scary thing in America is right now with this internet. It's the blessing and it's the curse because you got the, um, the madness. I mean, the whole perception was changed and you had a chance to look at it right there before your very eyes. I just want to know when... I have a brother and a sister who was dead. I got a brother that was murdered by a cop. And I told y'all this story before. If I haven't, you know, I'm going to have to start opening it up for uh, a little bit more. And if uh, I know I've done, out of all the videos I've done, I've had to talk about my brother. I'm out there just gunned down by the police. And I told you just how disheartening it was when the damn defendant that used to be, that were cops, was allowed to go back and judge Seraphis Chambers. That was just mind-boggling. Okay? 
and that was white supremacy in action. And the protocol was exactly broken the way it's usually broken, right? I've never seen a white judge come down and hug a black defendant that was guilty of murder or killing any black baby. Trayvon, I'm Martin, anybody you can, I can't even think in my history of that. And then I got to look and see and to blame it on Christianity and Jesus? That this, oh my God, that was to me the most painful scene. Some of y'all thinking of it as a beautiful scene. I, I, it's the yin and yang of the situation. If white supremacy and the dogmatation and I guess all the things that you're supposed to come, overcome to make it to a human level. White people don't have to be that. But black people are that. That's why when Christopher Columbus came, he said these people are so docile. I don't, you know, we can just take them out real quick and then do what we gotta do. Because that's who we really are. So I'm not I'm not so ignorant to know that that's who we are innately. But what I am talking about is now we are like that, except we're around a bunch of sharks. And when you're around a bunch of sharks and you're just sticking your arm out, they're already trying to eat you. But when you just stick your arms out to act like your life don't matter at all and you never make these people accountable, you can't even say anything. Even if it's what you want to act, if you want to be um, heartfelt like that, it's cool. But on the other end, you have to, every time you open up your mouth, you got to be honest about what ails this society and white supremacy and how this is unprecedented. You got to open up your mouth and represent but you saying you represent Jesus, but Jesus, he was not as docile as y'all think. That's why Jesus was hated, because he told the truth. So now, what type of madness that, you know, that I saw, I don't think that we had, I'm not trying to get us to apologize for who we are, okay? I'm just saying all the laws and protocols were broken. And that's a problem for me. Because when you're amongst people that would never, ever, ever do that to you in that position. I've never seen a judge come off of the stage. And I ain't going to see it. So somebody please tell me if you got whiff of that happening anywhere in America. That's unprecedented. And it's just, to me, you know, I guess it just be fitting since we set the trend Let's see if we set the trend with that one. But this time, let us set the moral compass where it's white folk coming off the bench and hugging us. When we, when the circumstances is set up, you, you know, I don't want to get into it. I, I just thought that Amber Geiger should have got at least 20 years. Um, and I think that 10 years was not enough, I think. But the fact that she was convicted... I'm grateful because I think it would have been too horrible had she been done that to that woman's son and then just got got off scot free. You know, and I'm really not trying to be funny because I know there's a yin and yang in everything, and I and I do believe that, and I do believe that the highest standard and the highest state that a human being can be in um, is the love. Or is the fact that you can hug somebody um, and know that, um, it's my opinion, this is just, but that, that's a lot of steps. And not only that, it's, you can't even expect that in the, such a cesspool of evil. You know, um, and when nobody is worried about any type of um, balancing of that scale, I mean, to me, I just, you know, I, I, you know, maybe that sounds contradictory. Maybe it is. But I know I felt some kind of way. And I'm thinking about the letter to the law, taking out my emotion. I think that that guy shouldn't have went up there and um, he could have said, expressed what he had to say from right there. Uh, and when he said, can I give her a hug? It should have stopped um, 
No, you can do that if you want to go to the jail to visit her, sir, but it, you can't do that right now. And I certainly, as a judge, wouldn't have went down and then gave her my Bible and then somebody rubbing her hair, I'm, you know, stroking her hair. Listen, y'all, I can't take that kind of stuff. I can't take that. That's too much. I, that was just too messed up for me. It was so messed up that it was like, please, come on. You know, and I want to get along, but that kind of stuff right there, you know, uh, we, uh, we got to dig the root out first. And and so I got to understand, I got to know what y'all think about that, because is it just me? And I, you know, and I know I'm going to get some slack for this, but I don't really care. Um, But come on, tell me what y'all think about that. Am I crazy? Um, And I'm not saying that you, you know, I'm, I'm not saying nothing but what I see here. Okay, that's 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 it. All right, like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share. Y'all like the video, share the video. Um, YouTube is just a pure donkey, you know. And with that being said, uh, the more you support the video, like I said, the more I can at least uh, try to sit up here and make videos, um, just like anybody, the rest of us. But YouTube is so crazy. So when I say support the video, I mean, you know, like the video and don't leave your comments to um, <laughs> a, 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 a respectable showing because that's what I mean. YouTube is doing crazy stuff. They're taking your page away if you, you know you have uh, you know insulting things on, in the comment section and all that kind of stuff like that. So. Uh, can't we all just get along? Tell me how you think. Tell me how you feel about this video. I really, really want to know. And you can keep it as clean as possible. And I would really respect and I would appreciate that. Because I know it's the kind of subject that make you really want to... Make you want to holler for both your head. Oh. Okay. See you in the next video.